Well, in the last few hours, Eugene Terra Blanche, who many of our international viewers will remember from the late 80s and early 90s as the man who tried to prevent South Africa's path towards democracy, has been murdered, according to police, by two farm workers who worked for him. He was bludgeoned and stabbed to death by a club and with a machete on his farm. And um, there have been many reactions here in South Africa. It's quite obvious on the social networking sites that this is a man who's not likely to be missed. Not many tears will be shed. He was described, as one um, newspaper man here said, as a violent racist. Um, and, of course, he has been the epitome of that white uh, supremacist that, that really fought against black democracy, black majority rule in this country. That said, his death comes at a very sensitive time in South Africa's history. Um, there's a very deep sense of racial polarization here at the moment, and many people here feel that um, his death and his murder will be seen in a political uh, stance rather than perhaps, say, as a criminal act. Now, this was actually over a wage dispute, but people are saying that there will be political implications because, as you mentioned, the sensitive timing. Absolutely. Now, there are two reasons why this is sensitive. I mean, he was, um, according to the police, murdered by two farm workers because he hadn't paid their wages that he said to have um, um, owed them. They actually handed themselves over to police after, after murdering him, which is quite unusual here in South Africa. But in terms of the political context, in terms of um, the situation that South Africans find themselves in today, first of all, there is a huge increase in the number of farm murders white Afrikaners, uh, many farmers themselves are fear for their safety, um, living out in rural, um, isolated, remote areas, and there has been an increase. Uh, thousands are said to be killed in the, in the most recent years. Now, within that context, there's also been a political song called Kill the Boer, which basically means kill the farmer, which has been sung by a radical uh, ANC ruling leader, and um, this, this song has been actually banned by the courts. They say they can't sing this song, this leader can't sing the song, Julius Malema, but at the same time, he is fighting it, saying it's a cultural heritage issue. Now, it's within this context of can you, um, can you sing the song about killing the farmer, and within that, the, 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 the archetypal stereotype of the white Afrikaner has just been killed in the last few hours in South Africa, and many people fear there's going to be some retribution by the small pockets of, of white supremacists who will feel that uh, perhaps Eugene Terre Blanche was a martyr. So in the sense, this is a terribly unwelcome uh, incident within South Africa's, again, still very racially polarized society, still all these years after the end of apartheid.